Welcome back to the Legend of Heroes Trails from Zero, where we just oh yeah left the the theater after talking with a theater troop about the threat letter, and our first task, our first place of investigation is Revashen Co. The Mafia headquarters. So this is the Russian Co. building. We knew it wasn't the safest place of the city, but the way here was even shadier than I expected. Who the hell are you guys? This is a place for kids like you to screw around in. Go ahead and piss up. What? Aren't you those kids? Could it be? Ah, would have thought we'd be reunited from a <laughs> would have thought we'd be reunited with a, d a felon of ours. What? Where are these kids? There was them police brats. Never once would spoil our plans of a downtown district. No way. It seems our reputation precedes us. We've come here today as part of an official investigation. Say what? We'd appreciate if you could meet with your boss. We'd like to ask him some questions regarding a certain incident. Are you out of your damn minds? A bunch of dogs like you talking to the Don? Just how cocky can you guns get? He's not one of our suspects, we just want to ask him some questions. He of course isn't obligated to speak with us, so we won't force the issue. Can you boys at least let your boss know we're here? Appreciate it. Damn it, Anno. Your screw up made these little shits way too big for their britches. Hey, what's the plan? Those sons of bitches have a wrong idea. Sounds like we should teach them some manners, huh? <laughs> Sounds good to me. Guess we ain't getting in. Yeah, we just have to try again another time. Let them through. Boss? Oh, Sorry, boss. These kids are. Oh, oh, it's fine. He's massive. Walt was fairly large, but he pales in comparison. This guy's a mountain. <laughs> You're those brats of the police, then? I've heard the stories already, but you're younger than I thought you'd be. I'm Lloyd Bennings of the Special Support Section. And you are? Garcia Roshi. I'm the General Manager of Sales at Revash and Co. I suppose most of the employees stick to boss, though. Oh damn, I wasn't expecting a big shot like him coming down here to greet us. Yes, I believe he's Marconi's right hand man. Come inside. I'll hear what you have to say. Oh, uh... <laughs> You're lucky the boss is in a good mood. Get your asses in there. You better not even think about disrespecting him. Unless you're fine with having your lifespan cut short. <laughs> so that's what this is all about. You think the Don sent Ilya Plateri a threat letter? Ridiculous. You could sure have some overactive imaginations. We aren't claiming it as the truth, of course. However, we heard of a recent incident between your boss and Ilya, and given that we were out of leads, we thought we should at least come to ask about it. <laughs> You're talking about the Don getting smacked? That's nothing, just a random little event in his busy life. He'd had a bit too much to drink at the time and barely remembers it anyway. I doubt he's holding any kind of grudge over it. Is that so? 
with just another rumor we heard. But what about the proposal to have Ilya perform at the Heimdall Opera House? Yeah, that was brought up. We was got friends in a lot of places, and it was them who actually came to us with the idea. But apparently, the main reason was that the Dawn wanted to bring her in as a special guest for... For what? A special guest? Never mind. Nothing you need to know about. Anyway, that letter ain't from us. Do you understand now, kids? Even so, do you mind taking a look at the letter? Just in case? Sure. Whatever. And it's over. Here you go. The hell is this shit? Whoever this is, he's dead set on getting in the way of Ilya Pateri's performance. What was that? It looked like he noticed something. Garcia threw the threat letter back at Lloyd. <laughs> this is a damn waste of my time. Threat letter? This crap's look like nothing more than an overblown prank to me. Hold on a sec. Your reaction gave the impression that you know something. <laughs> Don't know what you're talking about. Nothing but letter looked the least bit familiar to me. All I can tell you is that the Dawn didn't write it. <laughs> oh, and bet you guys are on a fool's errand. You know that, right? It's clear there's something this guy's not telling us. Whatever it is, he seems unlikely to reveal any further information. I suppose that covers things here then. Is there any way we could hear the story directly from the Don? What? Yeah, getting it straight from the source would be best, you know? Or is he not in right now? <laughs> Don't go getting cocky now, kiddos. You think the donor's time to see a bunch of snot nosed rookies like you? A group of naive, helpless puppies that he can crush in the palm of his hand? Wait a second. Normally, I wouldn't have even given you the time of a day. But since I'm such a nice guy, I figured this would be a good chance to give you this one piece of advice. No matter what you do, you can't change Crossbell's true nature. Ravash's iron grip is here to stay. Pretty confident about that, aren't you? If you understand, then get the hell out of here. I don't have time to sit around having tea parties with a bunch of little shits like you. However, if you dare defy us again, there will be no mercy. I will end you. Thank you for the advice. Let's go, everyone. I think we have gotten all we can here. <laughs> well, this is the worst tea party I've ever been at. Ain't even any tea. Wait. You there, Red Hat. Ah, huh, you talking to me? That shade of red, I've seen it before. No, you couldn't be. Ah, oh, hold on there, Gramps. I love getting attention from smoking hot ladies, but old man, not really my thing, you know. Well, whatever. Hurry up and get out of my sight already. You were one who stopped me. Make up your damn mind already.
my turn. That went well. He was treating us like children. <laughs> I can't stand that bastard. By the way, Wendy, what did he stop you as we were leaving? Beats me. Anyway, that big guy ain't bluffing. Where we are now, I doubt we'll be able to so much as to put a scratch on him. You think? I sensed he considered us far beneath his notice. As if no matter what we did, it would be barely register as a fawn in his sight. Right. I got that impression too. Even considering his group's connection on the diet, he didn't seem faced at all. What's up? Um, nothing. More importantly, how will we proceed? It seems Le Vash may know more than we're letting on. You mean regarding the threat letter sent to Ilya? Yeah. I don't think we can take everything Garcia told us as face value. That being said, I think the odds that Ravash is connected to this incident are low. Really? But he clearly reacted to the threat letter once he saw it, right? Without a doubt, he definitely noticed something. Lloyd pulled out the threat letter. Perhaps what Garcia reacted to was the name. Because he, he first commented on the he, he first commented on the text and then he suddenly stopped as he noticed something. Jin. That Yin guy? You think there's a chance Yin is involved with Avash? Yin conspiring with Avash wouldn't explain Garcia's reaction to the letter. It was almost as if he was sure this had nothing to do with them once he saw it. Don't you think so? Yeah, that's a good way to describe the look on that ugly mug of his. We can deduce that while Yin has no ties to Ravash, it's still a name they are familiar with. Is that an appropriate hypothesis? Yeah, I think that's safe to say. If that's the case, I think we should consult with someone who's more familiar with Ravash. Mr. Grimwood comes to mind. Yeah, that's a great idea. If we are as close to the truth as we think we are, and it might be a good idea to discuss it with Grace too, although... We give that woman the smallest morsel before you know it, she's been trying to drag the whole damn story out of us. She would inevitably learn of the threat letter and would become a colossal ordeal for Archon Ciel. I was hoping you'd all talk me down from that idea, to be honest. We should try question any other person that comes to mind as well. If we're lucky, we might even come across some information we weren't expecting. Yes, maybe so. Ellie? Oh no, it's nothing. We shall begin gathering information. We can start wherever we like. At some point, we have to visit the law office as well. Right, let's get going. Isn't quite the same. I think the dialogue changed. Yeah, the dialogue changed. So, um, our next quest is going to the law offices, but I look around if I find something else. The 
been hearing some awful rumors float around these parts lately. Apparently Heyu has been blockading Ravage's smuggling routes. Seriously? Are you sh absolutely sure? Remember, just a rumor. But it sounds like we've been strategically breaking down the opponent outside of the public eye. Thanks to that, not even my braces can intervene in the matter. Heyu is definitely crafty, considering how they managed to outmaneuver everyone. I don't know the details, but apparently Ravage lost several of their smuggling routes. Oh! Detective Donovan and Raymond. Inspector Donovan and Detective Raymond? Are you in the middle of an investigation? We are indeed. I happen to be collecting evidence for that the warehouse district shooting. I'd bet anything that the culprit is related to Ravage somehow. Those guys have been causing nothing but trouble recently, like that thing with a truck. Truck? Mind filling us in? I'm pretty curious myself, no? Raymond, whatever I said about reining in that loose tongue of yours? Ah crap, I did it again, didn't I? Well, I suppose we have no choice but to tell them now. It all started with a rumor that was sent to the second division. Last weekend there was an incident that happened in Culvert involving a truck. One of her vast trucks. Supposedly it was... Suppose that these was attacked by an unknown party and went up in flames. Someone blew it up? It seems so, and while those on top may try to cover it up, stories like this are becoming more and more common. Fortunately, citizens have yet to be involved, but word is that the Bracer Guild has been investigating this incident as well. That certainly sounds suspicious. Do you think the attacker might have been Heye? I bet it was. Who else would have the balls to do something like that to Ravage? This case isn't really ours to handle, but it's certainly something to keep in the back of our minds. It looks like we're first division in charge of investigating that series of truck accidents. We don't know the details ourselves. Well, there have been a lot of incidents like that cropping up lately, and our plate's too full to deal with them all right now. Listen, you four, make sure you keep your eyes peeled if you're patrolling the city, you got me? You know how the street outside our shop merges into a highway? It's been a real pain dealing with the traffic from all those orbital cars. Now that you mention it, it sounds like a lot of shipping companies are starting to use orbital trucks to make the deliveries. I know, I noticed something kinda weird too. There's this black truck I see sometimes when I come into prep at around 3 in the morning. Word on the street is that it belongs to Ravage. Any truth to that claim? Hmm, I wonder if I could be using the Crest. West Crossbell Highway is a smuggling route between here and the Empire. No way to say for sure, but it sounds shady as hell. Can't forget they cropped up in mines too, so they've clearly got something brewing behind the scenes. I heard you went and stuck your nose into a vast business, Wendy. How the hell did you find that out? That's not important. Just cut it out, okay? They're too powerful for a rookie officers like ourselves to take down. Everybody in Crossbell, especially business owners of this district, know it all too well. Even I pay them a fee so they don't cause trouble with my stuff. A Vash is the king of Crossbell's underworld. I urge you all not to do anything reckless. Chao's advance has just begun. Should be interesting to see how this plays out. I'm impressed at the marvelous job he's doing of destroying Ravage. Chao? That name sounds... Is that the name of Heyu's boss? Yeah, it is. Though I can't say I've ever met him myself. He's a branch manager of Heyu's crossbow outfit. She's supposedly cunning enough to resolve any kind of issue, be it internally or externally. I imagine we're planning their attack and now that they've gained a foothold in crossbow. Pretty solid mood for a mafia, I'd say. Is that related to the uptick in crimes being reported around the city? Now that you mention it, this month in particular has been chock full of incidents. Guess we've been doing all that dirty work just under our noses. Aeos Chao is one smooth operator. <laughs> it's almost creepy just how shrewd he is, but I can't argue with the results. In fact, I'm a bit interested to see what he might get up to. Excuse me, could we humbly request you to stop arming both parties involved? <laughs> now I definitely can't promise you that, but I don't think they'll be needing my services. Let's face it, both groups are already armed to the teeth. A 
Hey, it's been clawing my way into Crossbow's underworld. We're supposedly a large group that operates in the east. Yeah, I thought they're a crime syndicate with a strong foothold in Calvert. Do you know anything about them, Muzzy? Huh? No, can't say I do. I thought they've been engaging in skirmishes over smuggling routes as of late. They've also been strengthening their forces, even though they're already keeping the Varsh at bay. If sources are to be believed, at least. We're remaining cautious for now. Their actions could affect us too. Really? Hey, how did someone like yourself manage to find that juicy piece of info? Well, I suppose it's a bit out of my area of expertise. I may not look the part, but I actually have connections everywhere. Alright, we looked around, found many information about the turf war between Ravage and Heyu. Nothing too specific, but um, just that Heyu is interrupting their smuggling operations. And the, the turf war is getting worse. Good, let's see what Mr. Grimwood knows. Excuse us, sir. Oh, oh welcome. I see the SSS has been keeping busy. I could say the same to you, Mr. Grimwood. Right, you look as busy as always, sir. Well, you get used to it in this line of work. But aside, something must have happened, right? Judging by the looks on your faces, you've come to ask for my advice. Impressive. <laughs> was it that obvious? Well, I do so. A great many clients come to my door every day with that same look. Lucky for Lou, I'm taking a break right now, so you can ask me anything. Thank you, Mr. Grimwood. Your words mean more than you could ever know. I think we'll take you up on that kind offer. A threat letter sent to Archon Ciel, huh? And you're curious as to whether the sender, Yin, is tied to Ravash. Yes, sir. Do you have any idea? Unfortunately, I don't have any information connected with two of them. But that does mean that I've never heard the name Yin before. Really? What do you know about him? Well, I have no evidence that points towards this being the same person. With that in mind, are you still interested in this information? Yes, of course. And at this point, we take any lead we can get our hands on. Very well then. It all happened when I went on a business trip to Calvert. While walking about, I heard a strange urban legend from a local. It involves a legendary Zhong Shou, referred to as Yin. It certainly is an Eastern name. What exactly is a Zhong Shou? Uh, it means something along the lines of assassin or killer. Pretty sure that's what they call them in most of the eastern regions. Hmm. My, you're certainly well informed. I'd say it's somewhat similar to how we customarily call mercenaries Jaegers. You mentioned this was an urban legend. There's more to it, I assume. Well, yes, it's said that no one knows for sure whether Wien is real or not. Though, supposedly, he's said to wear a mask and a pitch black coat, and he's never once allowed someone to see his face. He appears and vanishes with the shadows, and never lets his prey slip away. In other words, he's a phantom. A phantom? Sounds like a pretty tall tale, if you ask me. I suppose that's why they call it an urban legend. However, why would this so-called legendary assassin send a threat to Ilya Plateri? Right. It just doesn't make sense. Wait, what if it's not Ravash he's tied to but Heyu? Yes, I was thinking the same thing. Hmm, 
Ohio is a powerful organization operating out of Calvert's Eastern Quarter. With that in mind, I wouldn't be shocked if I knew of the Eastern Assassin. I get you. If that's the case, Garcia's reaction makes a lot more sense. We know for a fact that Vivash and Heiyu are at each other's throats. And if Heiyu and Yin are teaming up, despite not being directly tied to Vivash, it would be highly likely the Mafia is acutely aware of his presence. That in and of itself would support Lloyd's and Ellie's theory. Mm, an intriguing thought. But that brings us back to your previous question to you. Why would you Yin threaten Ilya Plateri, the lead star of Arcon Ciel? Well, we still need to figure that one out. We know that Ilya and Rivash started an argument at the party. Could it somehow be related to that? I don't know. It didn't really sound like something that warranted a threat. Besides, why would Heiyu react to it at all if they are against Ravash? Yeah. Any chance her name is a coincidence and we're dealing with someone completely unrelated? I don't think so. Every clue we've given so far has pointed in a particular direction. I think we're still too early in the investigation to disregard anything that's not quite lining up. Hey guys. Not to get ahead of myself, but uh, why don't we try paying Heiyu a visit? What? Well, man, are you off your rocker already? Think about it like this. We know that Heiyu is a big enough threat to Ravash to have gotten their attention. And Heiyu has only continued to spread its influence and chip away at Ravash's hold on Crossbow's criminal underworld. Depending on the circumstances, they could prove even more dangerous than Mirage. You may be right. I see. This might be the perfect chance to check whether or not that is true. Hold up, it's not like we can just barge in on them. You have no idea what kind of people we're up against, Lloyd. Mm, actually, I recently met the manager of Heiyu Trading's crossbow branch. What? Seriously? He came to me for counsel to ensure there were no legal barricades preventing his business from operating in Crossbow. I saw no harm in the request, so I accepted the job. And it was then that I met him. I see. What kind of person was he? The word shrewd certainly comes to mind. He's relatively young, but he already knows his way around things. He's a silver tongue, is unflappably confident. Of all, I'd say he's extremely intelligent and not someone to be taken lightly. An intellectual, then. Sounds like it's gonna be a huge pain in the ass. Definitely not the kind of guy who'll give us any straight answers. True, but this would be a good chance to meet with him. What do you say? <laughs> okay, you won me over. I'm also quite curious about this branch manager. Same here. I know a bit about Revash, but nothing about Heiyu. We'll be going in blind. You're right, Lord. This would be a good opportunity to learn more about how they operate. It's a size, then. Thank you for your help, Mr. Grimwood. It looks like we'll be able to press on with our investigation after all. I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> you remind me of the way Guy used to work his cases. Anyway, he works under the guise of a respectable trading company. Stopping by the offices shouldn't prove too dangerous. However, never forget that their true identity is that of a massive, influential crime syndicate. Don't let your guard down around them. Yes, sir. Thank you. We'll keep that in mind. If I might correct you, Heiyu's crossbow branch manager is named Zhao Li. 
Mr. Grimwood tells me that you should watch yourself around him. Please be careful, everyone. We can't definitely say whether or not there's a connection between Yin and Heiyu. However, the fact remains that Heiyu's branch manager is quite the cunning man. And considering that behind the facade of a trade hides an enormous crime syndicate, I recommend you all be extremely careful. Alright, let's make our way to Heiyu Trading. I think we're somewhere by the pier. Correct, our destination should be in the northeast corner of the harbor district. They are apparently located right by the river. Oh, we're talking about that red eastern looking building. It's surprising to think that the crime syndicate's headquarters is in the same area as the IBC and the Crossbow Times building. I suppose it's no matter. Let's try paying them a visit. <laughs> 